So as I mentioned, NordCloud uh, is sponsoring and supporting this event. They're one of our newer premier members. Uh, we're going to welcome uh, Jakub Polak here in a minute. Uh, he's actually going to talk about how FinOps relates to sustainability uh, and to what they're calling green ops. And uh, we, we usually say very clearly, do, don't, don't pitch, right? Don't come here and say, here's we're the, we're the best provider or we have the best tooling or, or whatnot. But I have to give a, a shout to Jakub because uh, he included nothing about their company in his initial slides. He just talked about sustainability. And I actually asked him to put in, because we're talking about tooling and services, a little bit about what they did so people can understand what NorCloud did. So, Yakub, thanks for doing that quick bit to open us up. And then we're looking forward to hearing about your take on green ops. Okie dokie. So, hi. Uh, thanks for the invitations. Uh, thanks for... Uh, uh, my name is Jakub Polak. I work at NorCloud, as the JR said. We are basically European leader in cloud, uh, public cloud adoption services. So manage cloud, uh, professional services, of course, advisory and so on. Recently, we've added uh, one another, uh, let's say, uh, piece to our offer. It's a software as a service platform called Clarity. And Clarity Core uh, that you can see uh, on the slide is basically our, our FinOps tool. Uh, with Clarity, we are kind of obsessed about supporting distributed decision making. So um, I used to tell to, that it's not that hard to provide, you know, saving opportunity on VM level or saving opportunity by, you know, identifying orphan resources. This is the easy part. The hard part is to make sure you can identify who should act on top of those recommendations and make sure they have everything they need to make you know, smart decisions about those recommendations. And this is what Clarity is. One last thing about, uh, we use application as unit of cost and cloud management. This is very important. Let's say something that we preach is that to set the right narrative, the right language, to use the right language to talk between business, finance, and engineering, you should switch the, the, the unit of management to application because that this is the piece that every party will understand this is what you actually run in the cloud. That said, today I would like to talk a little bit about uh, what we call green ops. Mm -hmm. um, I, I really like that mm -hmm. now uh, it, it used to be DevOps, then DevSecOps. Now we have DevSecFinOps and we are about to have DevSecFin green ops uh, uh, notion. But jokes aside, uh, we, I would like to tell a little bit more how you can drive uh, the, 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 the cultural change at your company uh, with help from, from, uh, from sustainability. So I've quoted two websites on this slide. On the left, you have uh, update uh, of AWS well-architected framework uh, with this new sustainability pillar. Uh, it was introduced late, uh, late last year. And uh, on the right, you have a quote from FinOps website about usage optimization domain. Using different words, they are stating basically the same the same thing. Yeah, to to run the cloud the right way, you need to only use what you actually need. So use correctly sized, efficient infrastructure to match your business need. Nothing more and nothing less. This is this is what FinOps is, and this is what sustainability in the cloud. This is how it looks like. Can we go to the to to to, to the next slide? So there are design principles for cloud uh, you can, uh, and they are very similar, the, the two uh, that, that we have on this slide, very similar for, uh, for green ops, so sustainability in mind and, uh, and, and fin ops. And what I mean here is like, it's really crucial part is understand your usage. So this is what we are struggling with uh, when we talk about tagging, when we talk about cost allocation and so on and so far. And there's very, or not much we need to add to bring sustainability discussion to the table because uh, with carbon emissions, it's really hard to measure the, you know, the actual carbon emission. It's, it's, it's almost impossible and not even with cloud or IT, but in general, it's hard. So we uh, usually come up with what's called a carbon proxy. So a measurement that is correlated with uh, with um, uh, uh, with uh, your em emission levels, but it's not the emission level. And when you think what what could be the the best proxy, carbon proxy for the for the public cloud, 
uh, cost is obvious, obvious answer. Like when you use more, cost goes up. When you use less, cost goes down. It's the same with the footprint. There's one, let's say, asterisk or side note. We need to remember that we should always think about street prices because you can optimize your spend by, by doing buy optimization by ARIS, for example, but it will not influence your, your, your carbon footprint. The VM will use the same amount of energy no matter if it's paid upfront or paid with pay-as-you-go model. But that said, then we need to maximize utilization and back to end to maximize utilization, it's, 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 it's what we are after with all this use, usage optimization, right? Use the right thing. So. We can measure the carbon footprint using provider tools. They are precise or at least something uh, that we, we, we can uh, rely on them, but the level of granularity there is not sufficient for, for, for let's say, trying to drive cultural change the way we do, the, do it with FinOps. So it's on service level, on, on you know, global, ser global uh, usage level, never on, on, for example, tag level. So we have dedicated third party tools like Cloud Carbon Footprint, open source uh, estimation framework, actually. And estimation is keyword. It's hard to use estimated carbon footprint to, to do you know, compliance reporting for regulatory reasons and so on so far. But there's one use case that this, this tool is great too. Can we go to, 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 to the last slide that I have for today? This is my favorite one. We always talk about getting engineers to take action, but with this, I think we have our toolbox with a lot of, let's say, different tools to drive the cultural change within our companies. And I think with GreenOps, we can get one, another very important tool, which is influencing others by, by sustainability, by being green, air quotes. And of course, you can use governance and let's say influence the culture. With governance, you can prepare guidelines, architectural principles, like even some some you know programming languages are greener than the others. So you can influence that on on this level. But on this cultural change, this is very important because, for example, interesting idea that we did with one of our customers is gamification. Why don't you go with Spring Cloud Cleaning, but instead of talking about removing orphan resources, you talk about you know getting greener and plant tree every time you right size a VM. Just to, you know, just to drive this um, the, this the, the, this involvement from the uh, engineering team sides. In clarity, just 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 one last comment. We estimate the footprint and show it next to every cost report, just to make sure. Uh, that everybody understands that, that um, well-sized workloads are not only about saving money, that's the one thing, but then when we show right-sizing opportunity, we, can, we show how much you can save uh, of, the, of the footprint of your workloads. And my current role at NorthCloud is product manager. I find a lot of similarities between product management and FinOps within the organization from cultural perspective, because you need to, um, drive the change or influence without formal authority always. Yeah, you are not the boss to the people and you're trying to influence them. Sometimes you're trying to influence your boss, so it's even even harder. And I think this, uh, like trying green ops or trying bringing sustainability to this table can help you with both. Influence, you know, the, 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 the CSR of your company but influence the engineers as well. And with that, I, I, I'm happy to discuss this during breakout, breakout room later today. We'll be there and let's discuss. I know there, there's much more into sustainability. I wanted to emphasize only this cultural aspect, uh, and, uh, but let's have discussion around all the topics around sustainability later on. Thank you.